Hey, today on Wicked Good Eats, we're going to make some beautiful pulled pork from a nice pork shoulder. Uh, good thing about the pork shoulder is you get plenty of meat out of it. Um, I'm going to slow cook it in the crock pot. <clears throat> it's relatively cheap. You can get this nice, uh, this is almost a 10 pound pork shoulder for like 14 bucks um, at uh, any of the markets. And um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the crock pot. I'm going to add our. Um, ingredients and what you're going to need is some granulated garlic, some wine, it could be red or white, whichever you prefer, a little uh, extra virgin olive oil, sea salt, black pepper, ground mustard, a little smoked paprika to give it a little smoky flavor, and um, some uh, powdered onion. Also you want to have uh, at least two cups of water. Uh, you don't want to overfill this because a lot of the juice is going to come out from this uh, shoulder when you cook it. And once that's done, we're gonna put, we're gonna go through and pull it and uh, add the barbecue sauce. So let's get started cleaning this up. Okay, so after you take out your uh, pork shoulder from the package, you want to give it a good rinse. It is a pork product, so you want to give it a nice good rinse with cold water. And uh, we're gonna get it in this crock pot. So you can see we've got a nice, uh, decent sized crock pot. Should hold that perfect and uh, just right. Okay, so we got our nice pork shoulder in the crock pot. I'm going to start adding our seasonings. And what you're going to want is a half a tablespoon measure. Okay, I'm going to start off with the dry mustard. Go ahead and pour it right on top. And half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Okay, powdered onion. Half a tablespoon of that. Okay. Black pepper. Same thing. Half a tablespoon of that. Now, if you want, you could spice this up and um, add some chili peppers. Uh, I do that later. I make half a batch mild and half a batch hot. So if somebody doesn't like it really hot, they don't have to they don't have to make the whole pot. And our granulated garlic goes in there. Okay. Then we want two cups of water. Okay. And we're gonna go with a splash of red wine. Like I said, if you use white, doesn't matter. I just like a little wine flavor in there. And then you want to put, um, oh, about a couple of capfuls of virgin olive oil. Olive oil helps bring the flavor out in everything, so that's good to do. So we have all of our ingredients in there. We're going to cover it up. And cook time, we're going to set for eight hours. And we'll come back and check it after about an hour. Okay, so our pork shoulder's been cooking for eight hours. Um, it's ready. So I'll show you what that looks like in there. You can see how the pork is already starting to break down. And I got a couple of forks here. We're going to pull it on this um, cutting board. And uh, for this, you can use any kind of barbecue sauce, whatever it is you like, but uh, I happen to have this bottle of uh, Sweet Baby Ray's, that's what I'm going to use for my uh, pulled pork sandwich. Okay, so we're going to get out our first piece here. Alright, we got a nice piece here. Get a hand off, Adam, that drain off, off a little game. bit. And yeah, what you're going to want to do is get a uh, bowl to put this in. Okay, so that's what our pulled pork looks like. Um, and what you want to do is just get a, you know, a couple of forks, and you want to pull it apart so you don't have these big chunks, you know. And um, it's okay if you get a little bit of fat, trimmed off the fat, took out the bone. So 
you have something like that, I'm just going to put it in this container and I'll add my barbecue sauce to that. So as you can see this just breaks apart, you don't need a knife, this is why we call it pulled pork, because you just pull it, pull it apart. And we'll do that for all the pork, and we'll put it in this nice container, and we'll add our barbecue sauce. Okay, so after we've um, gone in and pulled all that pork, you <laughs> see so you got a big container of pulled pork. I'm going to leave the crock pot on low. I'm going to pull this, put this pulled pork back in the crock pot. It's about what's left in the bottom. Um, and then I'm going to add my uh, barbecue sauce and let it stew for a little while. And then when I'm ready to take, eat my sandwich, I'll just take it right out of the crock. So Wolfie had his, he's looking for more. I made this nice sandwich. A little top cover on that, don't need anything else but that. And if I wanted, I could add a little hot pepper if I want hot pepper, but I want it sweet. So um, there it is, pulled pork sandwich. Okay, so <laughs> we have our um, pulled pork with our barbecue sauce. It's all mixed in, and it's ready for sandwiches. And we've got Wolfie over here who's um, Desperately waiting for the first taste, so we'll give him a little taste. Go ahead, Wolfie, if you like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, go on in two seconds. Do you like that, Wolfie? Good stuff, huh? Want some more? <laughs> Good boy. Enjoy, everybody. Pulled pork, barbecue pulled pork.